Well, hi, everybody. It's David George Brook, that gratitude guy, with another special guest on my gratitude podcast interview, The Pandemic. And today I'm with Roger Starkweather, a young man I met here, oh gosh, less than a year ago. And, and uh, so I thought, I love this guy's energy. And I think, and he's just, he's been very involved in the Columbia Tower Club where I'm a member. And so please welcome Roger. Welcome to the podcast. Thank you, David. Thank you. Happy to be here. You bet. So I, the whole concept behind these videos is about maybe giving some ideas and thoughts and things that might help other people because we're going through such an unprecedented time. So let me start off with what has been your best coping mechanism to deal with all this madness as we're into this about uh, almost seven, close to eight weeks now. Yeah, yeah, no, I appreciate that. I, you know, it's interesting. My, my world hasn't changed much. I mean, we were, we're, we've lived in the virtual world for years and years, given what I do in my day to day. And um, I think for me right now, we got to have our kids come home from college. And so having family literally be part of everything that we all get to go through together has been really empowering. Uh, we've really embraced the time to just kind of reconnect and it's a good thing that we like each other so we've been fortunate <laughs> that's good yeah i think some people that are definitely more <laughs> virtual or had been more part of this uh prior to this happening it was not as big a dramatic thing as somebody has to go to work and so on and so forth and so but if you think my I, my whole thing is gratitude and so i think about being grateful and how that impacts us do you notice, are you more grateful for different things now since you've gone into this? Has it changed what you're grateful for now versus say seven or eight weeks ago? Yeah, I think that's a really great question because we're all human. And I think that the, the, if you haven't thought about the fact that it's a leveling playing field and that we're all in this together. Mm -hmm. um, and if you don't take the small things, you know, and, and embrace them, like, you know, the, the fact that we get to still connect with our friends, we still have community and family. There are things that if you're healthy, you can still get out and do and help people. I think that those are the things that come to mind. I think before COVID, we were all just kind of busy, just doing our job, you know, and, and, and I think now we can come down. And I think that by coming down, you get to rise up. Mm, mm, I like that. I like that. And two, and knowing you, Roger, to the extent that I do, which is reasonably well, and you have a lot of stuff going on, mm -hmm. and what sort of maybe thoughts, tips, ideas would you say to that person that's stuck in their house and maybe some things that they can do? Again, you juggle a lot of balls. And yeah. I'm talking to you a number of times and things, but, but maybe to give them some ideas of things that they can do with this time, uh, so-called downtime, if you will, back at their home or their condo. You know, I, I, I think it gets back to the way that we were raised. It's, it's, it's being grateful for the smallest things. I mean, if you have a chance to get up, breathe, make a cup of coffee, take a moment for yourself. And I think a lot of people haven't taken time for themselves. So yeah. we're a big believer in, in, in having me time. Me time gives us the energy to give to others as well. And I think that if you find yourself stuck or sad, um, look for those things that are just really simple. You know, what, what, what has made you happy? What can you give to others in, in, in essence, I guess? Yeah, yeah, good point, good point. And I think too, even though you mentioned earlier that it wasn't as big a transition for you because of how your business goes and a lot of it on the computer, if you will, Zoom and FaceTime or different types of things. What, do you have anything that having had this time to think that when this is over, it's gonna be over at some point as we get back into the society again or back into uh, opening up the society, if you will, uh, sort of this idea that there'll be a vaccine. Who knows what it'll be? But at some point, we're going to come out of this. Is there anything that you've thought about now that, boy, I'm going to hit the ground running when this is done because it's gave, given me an idea that I can't maybe do some things here, but boy, once this is done, that I'm going to really take hold of because you've had this time to think about it? I don't know if I've had a lot of time to think about that, but I think relating to that question, um, if people have found out that there's more time to reach out to others, I think you need to embrace that. You need to not get so busy when we all get back to some level of normalcy, but also keep that connection. Continue to reach out. You're like just on a daily, hey, just thinking about you. And, you know, I, I've been fortunate to have a large family that I don't know for whatever reason is like Sunday is my day to reach out. Like I just spend time reaching out to those just checking in there. How are you doing? Is there anything you need? And I think that if we continue as, as, as um, a society to think about others, 
on a regular basis. It just helps you. Yeah, 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 good point. And I was thinking too, specifically to you, last mm -hmm. week you did the digital marketing series mm -hmm. on the Columbia Tower. What was kind of your biggest takeaways from that? What did you learn from that? Because we were just talking before this podcast about uh, how we can get out there and do Zoom and do virtual things and so forth. What were some of your, your one or two biggest takeaways from that? It sounded, it was very, I liked it. I really enjoyed it and had some great information for me. What uh, were some of your biggest one or two takeaways from that last week? Well, for us, really the inspiration behind putting that on was to connect people while they had downtime. Marketing and branding are efforts that continue to be pushed on the back shelf. Right. We'll just think, we'll get to that tomorrow. We'll get to that tomorrow. And we just thought as a group, why not kind of take the opportunity to raise consciousness to others about all of that? Mm -hmm. um, it, as far as takeaways goes, I think connecting with small businesses that didn't really think about those elements of their business and for us it's 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 that connection of journeys you know what's that user experience we're always thinking about how does one thing relate to another um I, again getting back to always reaching out and connecting to people so i think for us the big takeaway was just to share information really we were just there to make sure that people understood what they could do what was possible yeah. um and have some fun along the way I, I i'm fortunate to work with some really talented fun people mm -hmm. and that helps me you know keep doing what i like to do yeah that always makes it more uh, enjoyable i still hear those surveys that say 70 to 80 percent of people hate their jobs and right gosh we spend so much time working why would you want to do something you hate and it's just uh uh fascinating but so great well la listen last question is this as sort of this Roger, I love to talk about people in third person. Does Roger have sort of a, a quote or a um, saying or sort of a philosophy that has kind of guided you through your life that obviously helps you through a challenging times like, like this? And I mean, some people have said this too shall pass. Is there something that kind of guides you or directs you that you kind of fall back on in a time like this? There are two. Um, way back in my post-college days when you're getting out when i was getting out and trying to figure out you know what to do and all this other stuff um uh, dale carnegie's uh, uh uh stop worrying and start living was one of the biggest books i've ever ever impactfully made a change on my life and 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 then beyond that and today i kind of follow uh, uh mike dooley taught infinite possibilities and thoughts become things so i truly do manifest and think about thoughts become things and uh, put it into practice i continually to and david yesterday on your uh, uh podcast yesterday was writing you know i'm a big writer i do write down every day into a book excellent <clears throat> just write it down and i think if you don't write it down it doesn't become an action and i was so pleased to hear you say that yesterday oh thank you thank you and that was that whole thing and there's science behind it which i touched on briefly but this idea of writing it down and thinking that i've had i remember my sister once said well i just say gratitude i think gratitude thoughts throughout the day and i go well gina that's fantastic but if you say them, you think them, that's okay. If you say them, that's better. But if you write them down, it's the best. And, and I, I have my whole to-do list for, I don't understand how people operate that don't write things down, but it does, as I mentioned yesterday, does plan it better in your brain. So yeah, that's good. Because I think it's neat to have sort of a mantra or sort of an overarching philosophy or something that kind of carries you. And especially at a time like this, I know the first couple of days I was upset because I lost a bunch of talks that were, you know, in-person talks. And, but it took me a day or two to kind of reorient myself. And I realized how fortunate I was because I can do so much like this and other things that I do and all these people that are out of their jobs and things. So sometimes mm -hmm. you have to, to reorient, but it, uh, it makes sense. So, well, listen, thank you so much. Those were great thoughts and ideas. I so appreciate you being on the gratitude interview podcast. Well, and I thank you. I wish you well and keep up the good work. Sounds great. Thanks, Roger. Okay, bye.